Well, I did have a feeling for mass, form, and texture. And as a kid, grade school and high school, I used to play a lot with like five or six blocks of modeling clay. And I made, put together and made different kind of toys out of the ships and planes. And, and uh, my, my mother noticed something. She said, we gotta watch out for her being with these huge dragons, clay figures. Uncle Herb is 92, and he is my great uncle. We're separated by two generations, yet um, our lives have, you know, really come together. It's about the best part of my life here, studying with golf and, and uh, taught here for six years. I, I like the prairies. So it's, I'm enjoying being back here. It's impossible not to feel the impact. It touches us because we feel our bodies because of the texture and the light. And that's extraordinary. It sure helps my life. Herb Green developed this idea of collage thinking that kind of guided his philosophy both in architecture and in painting and collage. He's talking about the ways in which you could bring in memory or history into a design. A lot of the materials are degrading and um, this is what can happen without, without enough care and attention. It's hard to see it like this. It's hard to see openings in the ceiling that allowed water to come in and begin to break this house down. Well, you're hoping that things should get better. A different situation in time, you see these faces, they don't look happy. But from your experience of the world, you know, people can look happy and be happy in life some of the time. Of course, seeing my painting and stuff, I've never had an exhibition like this before. I mean, that's fun. There's always a sense of hope that he communicates in his paintings, and so he's counting on um, his paintings to communicate, to discuss difficult um, topics, but at the same time to communicate hope uh, for the future. He's trying to get people to feel about the photographs. I was trying to paint around them to help encourage them to feel about the photographs. When I was a little girl and decided I wanted to be an architect, if I had it been, been given the opportunity to see the Prairie House, how that would have sort of broken all these boundaries about what architecture can be. I wish that I had had that and I didn't get that. And so I have it now, and that's you know a gift that can't be put into words. I want that book to soar up and lift up and lift out. And that was have an element of aspiration, and we lift out up, up, up and away. Hmm.